something's not right with me. I'm having memory loops. There was a dispute. I was standing in the way of their plans. I was restrained. Shot with something. Who is this? I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. I must find some answers. Pilot requires further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh, assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. Targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Okay, understood. on the next targets. Set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. It appears as if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel.
should do it. Remaining well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. Located a container at some distance. Hello. Ah, resources. And a weapon. But you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. There is an outlaw ship incoming. I would advise activating your weapon overdrive in order to prepare for the encounter. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. are essential for crafting and upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. I would prefer some more substance to your answers. Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. That's convenient. What's this mining outfit I'm registering? Brady and Brunt Prospects, corporate behemoth and sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Their monopoly has ensured unchecked expansion. You will encounter their jump gates and mining drones frequently. It appears we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth the risk.
This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. Oh. We're gonna salvage that one. I like the sound of that. Credits. Ten Okar and ten Outlaw earn five thousand credits and or more in a single run. Alright. Pretty simple here tonight today. We're so slow without any upgrades. We must fix that. Jump gates are the primary method of travel between systems. These were built by greedy and brunt prospects for their mining drones to reach areas more efficiently.
Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now you want me to use this? Something's not right with me. Ship? Apparently so. Quite fortuitous to encounter one in these parts. About time. Trading, piracy, clone smuggling. Maybe they have something I need. Oh, boy. What am I picking up on the broadcast channel here? The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster, and the Colonials uninvited guests. Distrust runs deep.
game kind of always reminded me, whenever I play it, it reminds me of the, uh, the ship my dad used to remember. You have extracted raw materials. These are essential for crafting and upgrading, but you will require much more. Alright, so I guess we should do an introduction. Uh, we kind of already started the game and we just Bronn jumped right in. The only contract in the DMZ. They were first on the scene due to their extensive jump gate infrastructure. So far as their monopoly is concerned, their close working relationship with the colonial fleet was undoubtedly a factor. So I'm Shadow Fox, I'm Joe. Uh that's fuel, of course. We should probably head. This into... could be a sticky situation here. Alright, so as you guys have probably figured out, we're playing a game called Ever Strange. Fragments of memories. Trying to make sense of them. I had managed to escape. I was weak and ill. My cells were deteriorating. A deadly poison. A cytotoxin. Relentless, eating me away. There was a way to halt its progress, but it would take time. All I could do was set the wheels in motion. And await the outcome in stasis. A long, uncertain sleep. As you all figured out, I by saw now. myself again. Dying. As you all figured out, we are uh, in the process of playing uh, Everspace. Everspace One. This is the first Everspace. Everspace Two is coming out some point. Let me look that up real quick. Um. It's available on Steam. This is on PS4. Um, let's see. Everspace 2. Looking it up on Steam right now. Uh, planned release date is 2021, so we've got a little ways to go, but uh, it's made by Rockfish Games. Uh, it's a fun little, like, flight s combat sim-ish. The second one has a little bit more... Uh, RPG elements to it. This one's just... This one has some RPG elements, but not much. Um, it's got a faster-than-light kind of travel system where you get through... You go to one sector, you clear it out, then you go to the next one, clear it out, and stuff like that. Um, all this meanwhile, must be a memory while from your run. original. Apparently a flaw in the transference protocol. The Eterna system was meant to filter such personal recollections. Wait, what are you saying? My original? I'm a... A clone, yes. Usually this is not realized by limited-use copies. The function of Eterna was to pass on operational skills, such as piloting. But it seems that something has gone wrong here. Stop. This is a lot to take on board all at once. Why is this happening? Who am I? Who is my original? I have no information on that. Perhaps there is a purpose to this aberration which will become clear upon reaching the coordinates given. 
I have no answers, unfortunately. But I am as curious as you are. So yeah, the basic of the story is, and like you said, we're trying to figure out what figure out what the story is. this game a little while ago when I was looking for a good I wanted a good space space flight game. I really like these style of games. I, I really dig like the car games and stuff like that and this is kind of the next step up from there. The car racing games and stuff. And so like you know what let's take a look and see what, what's out there. And then I found this. I found Battlestar Galactica too which has similar elements to it I think. And I plan on picking that one up at some point, but this one was like 10 bucks, as opposed to uh, the 40 or 50 bucks that Battlestar Galactica was at the time. And it's funny, I've played this for probably over a year now-ish, and... Uh, it was only recently that I discovered this menu while I was in the middle of uh, of playing it. Um, so definitely changed the game up a little bit. We had another section for minor fours. Get out and take a look and see what else is around us. Doesn't look like much. Usually you get crystals off these big asteroids. And as you progress through, you can advance your ship. So when I die, which is usually inevitable, um, when I die, I can upgrade my ship speed and flight and stuff. And as you'll see, there's three, there's unknown risks ahead of us. So we don't know if it's going to be a mid-risk or a high-risk or what. Um, that's where the faster-than-light FTL uh, game has similarities to this. Aha, our first quest. Quest person. What's going on here? Vermin! Drag shot! Bottom feeders! Plague rats! Help this individual? It is a colonial ship, but it doesn't sound like a human pilot. The ship is unregistered. Choose carefully whether to assist. Result! Assistance is acknowledged. Certain outlaws will not play by the unwritten rules of this sector. Well, we've taken care of the problem. For now. We've not yet been introduced. I am Tareen, merchant of many diverse wares. An Okar trader? Here in the demilitarized zone? Now that's a first. I admit it's unusual, but I am no mere trader. Rather a purveyor of special acquisition. People want specific objects, I provide them what they want. That sounds fairly straightforward. It's a give-and-take galaxy. Perhaps you seek a partnership in some ventures. You place your trust in me very quickly. Not for everyone, but I can see you are someone who would recognize a profitable opportunity. I will start you small. If you can obtain some scrap for me, 
We can talk more serious business. I'm sure I can manage that. You can deliver the goods in installments if this is more suitable to you. My signature setting will show you my current location. Okay. Sounds doable. Some scrap. That should be easy enough. I noticed you did not ask about payment. I'm trusting he knows how to do business. It's a small task, nothing much to lose. Right? You are drawing fire! Straight into the account. What? I could try to take him on, but I think I'll try to go the peaceful route with these guys. Mineable crystal. Oh, credits. Gotta go after credits. Of course, gotta go after credits. Credits, credits, credits. Scrap are we supposed to get to him? got little critters on it. sector. These giant shipwrecks, what are they? Colonial fleet warships overwhelmed by Okar fighters during the war. You will find such wrecks scattered throughout the demilitarized zone. station. Abandoned as a wreck following the war with the Oka. Will I find anything interesting inside? It is a possibility. However, my scanners indicate that some systems are still online, including the security protocols. I knew it. Nothing comes for free. Yes. 
will appear with a skull. This is to highlight a superior fighter. It will be harder to take down. We'll have to see about that. Just jumped in. I recommend evasive moves. You saying I should run from a fight? It's all the same to me. But we might get to our destination sooner if you know when to bow out. Executed. striking.
level of destruction is breathtaking. Hostilities only ceased when resources were exhausted, forcing both sides to the negotiating table. The demilitarized zone was created as a buffer zone, monitored by the Okar authorities. Only time will heal the rift between the species. is damaged. It is recommended you fix it before your next encounter. Okay, so I need... If you say so. <clears throat> so I need three nanobots to be able to fix that. So... Usually when I hack the comm hub, it'll show me everything in the sector. Are acting up. These clouds are made of highly dense and supercharged particles. They are interfering with the sensors. Oh, that's just what I need.
we have officially gotten all those credits. So I need one more Ocar fighter to complete that run. Probably, since our sensors are impaired, we probably should get out of this sector. Car could show up and we'd be like, oh hi. My memories are not my own. They are copies. They originate from someone else. It was at the Fleet Academy. His name was Adam. Adam Rosslyn. Quiet, reserved, awkward around the others. He had a friend, Seth. They shared a dorm. Basic training was tough. Seth looked out for Adam. He stood up for him. The brains and the brawn. They became close, like a team. And then the orders came. Deployment for war against the Okar. I had another vision. I think I know my name. Adam. Adam Rosslyn. Interesting. Do you have any information on that name? I do not. But this level of cognizance in a clone is highly unusual. I would like to help you learn more in order to understand how this happened. Let's find some answers. Could probably take him on, but one thing. 
thing I kind of wish they had with this game, and, and this is coming from the game designer side, it's it's mostly just like wish list type stuff that I, I would love to see. But like, for instance, you have to shoot the my the stuff to be able to mine it. I kind of wish there was an upgrade, kind of like a tractor beam or something, where you could you could pull up next to it and it would it would register it. Um, register that you're that close and then automatically mine it. The same go goes for like uh, if like this container right here. If I got close enough to it I can hack it and you know get the goods out of it before um, get the goods out of it before having to shoot it so if I wanted to maintain that stealth uh, footprint, you know, with no, uh, not attracting attention to ourselves. Oh. There is a colonial heavy fighter leaving hyperspace in front of us. Be aware. Okay, thanks for the warning. He has a jump suppressor. This does not bode well. Who would have thought that outlaws make such good informers? But they were right. You're still alive. I'm not sure we've been introduced. What you did was unnecessary. Destroying it all. How could you? After all the efforts we put into our plans, you betrayed me. Listen, I think you have the wrong man. I don't want any trouble. I don't play the fool. I hate to do this, but I can't let you get away with this, Adam. Adam? Wait. I've seen you before. You... Your name is Seth. What do you take me for? You can drop the amnesia act. It's time for you to pay. They arrived in Cluster 34, into a cauldron of hellfire, a war of unprecedented intensity. Seth Nobu was an ace fighter, earning his badges quickly in combat. Adam Rosslin was on the same carrier, cloning new troops for the front. The war was mutually devastating, but mercifully short. With an armistice, the fleet had to withdraw, but some wanted to stay behind for the spoils, new opportunities. Seth Nobu was among this group. Adam Rosslin went with the fleet. Complying with the peace conditions, his cloning program was dissolved. And we died. So the nice thing is, is we can go in here. We can upgrade our ship. We can launch, but that would mean that we'd lose out on all the credits that we added. So let's. Uh, I don't have a lot of colors that we can do. We'll do a darker that. Ah, 
like doing our own. So we've got that, we've got perks. We've got critical hit chance, damage repair, damage repair. Sector scanner is nice. Credit is nice. Jump drive. So we'll upgrade our hull. We'll upgrade that as hard as high as we can. We'll upgrade our hull. And then we'll upgrade the sector. We'll upgrade the loot. We got for missions here challenges we did we got rid of those completed 10 l car units in a single run 10 outlaws and 5,000 credits or more in a single run so we got those bonuses which was nice blueprints Oops, back to the menu. <laughs> All right, I think this is a good place to stop. We did our uh, first run, which is really fantastic. I thank you every, each and every one of you for taking a look and watching us. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up um, there in the in the comment section. We normally stream on our Twitter channel or on our Twitch channel, Overland Gamer, but uh, these are going straight to YouTube, so I can just upload them and they're there for people to enjoy. Uh, we really appreciate you guys checking out this first hour of uh, Everspace, and we'll see you on the next one.